Alright YouTube, welcome back to episode 5 of the Ostaman Iron Man series. Starting this episode off with finishing the challenges for today. Let's see what I get. Claim rewards. So I got two crafting levels, I'm now level 14. Prayer level, I'm now level 31. So I'm chipping away there at the goal to 43. And three summoning levels all the way up to level 7. And then let's see what I get here. So I should get a box of clue scrolls and oddments. Cool, and they were uh, they were transferred to my bank. So cool. The focus on this episode is going to be a couple things. I know last episode I said I was going to be game 50 combat, but I got super tired of trolls and I wanted to start doing some other stuff. Um, which would take a little bit more. Um, so I decided to train like my fishing. Uh, so that I could catch desert souls. I am in the. Uh, the uh, Menophos obelisk thing. Uh, their friend chat. Trying to find some. So I can get the uh, ports tier 2 unlocked. And then uh, I'll be doing a little bit of fishing there. Just to get a little bit of uh, good food for bossing. And then I'm going to be training my combat up to level 50, uh, primarily doing Slayer. I can now do Scorpion Catcher, the Giant Dwarf, and I can do some stuff in Dungeoneering. Cool. Alright, I just bursted a bunch of Scarabs, got to 9 Slayer, and I also got to level 2 in the port, so I can now deposit the fish into the bank box. Uh, got to level 9 Slayer. Nothing super important there. But yeah, we got to it, so. Alright. <clears throat> Here we go. Fire making, prayer, and cooking. Uh, daily all done. Claim rewards. And that gets me a prayer level to 32. So getting up there. Two fire making levels. Uh... And with that prayer level, I got to combat level 46. And then, here's the large cash bag. This is the reward for today. So, let's see how much money I get. 164k. That's just so broken for early game Iron Man. Like, once you get to ED3, it's not really an issue. Like, money is never an issue for you. Because you're going to have, like, an infinite supply of alkables. But up until that point, uh, yeah, money's always a bit of a struggle, but yeah. Alright, so I missed it, but I just got Slayer level 20, killing these freaking cockroaches. I know, Tony Montana jokes, insert them now. Uh, but, uh, that just unlocks rock slugs, nothing super important. But I'm trudging on to 50 combat, I need 3 more levels. Alright, so I just finished my daily challenges for today. Let's claim these rewards. Let's see what I get up to. Uh, so I got a construction level, three herb lore levels, two agility levels. And I get an aura refresh tier four and a medium dungeoneering token box. So that gives me how much? 46. <laughs> Uh, wow, that is uh, kind of sad. Uh, dig site, that's good because I'm going to need that. Uh, anti poison, I suppose that's fairly important. And then 42 construction. How is construction tied for my highest? Well, it's not tied for highest because my attack is level 45. Uh, it's literally just because of player owned farms. It's the only reason it's that high. Alright, so just finished my daily challenges for today. Let me claim the rewards. So it's a new week, and I get some oddments. Oh, they don't have Death Touch Dart this week? Uh, they do have a monthly reset VIP ticket. So the rewards this, so it changes from week to week what the rewards are. Okay. Uh, well, that seems a little bit more 
non-OP because before that huge cash bag and the weekly reset, I mean, that would be crazy. Um, but let's collect those rewards. We got the oddments, add to currency, and then with this, I'm going to put it on magic because I can't put it on prayer. And I do need to get my magic level up. So 543 XP in magic, that gets me three magic levels all the way up to 11. Uh, so does that unlock anything? I can now actually do Tale of the Muspa, which I'm going to need, so I'll probably do that at some point. Um, 17 Crafting, Great Brain Robbery, I think I need that for something. And I can now do Precious Gem Rocks, so that's actually a big deal, because that's how I'm going to be trained crafting, uh, to basically 75 for Prith. I'm just going to mine a junk ton of those. Because uh, that only gives you sapphire, emerald, or ruby, or diamond, I believe, are the four it gives you. And you can use those to make uh, porters, which are going to be really important uh, for a lot of different things. Like training, uh, mining, and smithing at the higher levels is really convenient because you don't have to bank as often. Uh, doing archaeology with the grace of the elves uh, is also really good. So porters are just a really good thing. Um, and plus it's a good way to train mining and it's a really easy way to AFK get crafting because it's pretty fast uh, to get those gems. I, only thing I'll really have to get before I do that is the gem bag um, to store all the gems in so I don't have to bank as often. Alright, I just did floor number one on Dungeoneering because I had it for, as a daily challenge. I'm going to continue until I get to Complexity 6 and I have to reset my Prestige. But let's claim the rewards first. Okay, I got to leave before I can do that. So let me do that and then I'll do it. Let's see. Yep, leave the dungeon. Alright, let's go down here. All right, now let's claim the rewards. See what I get up to. Three Dungeoneering levels, three Crafting levels, three Thieving levels. Let's see, I get an Aura Refresh Tier 2, a Challenge Skip token, which I'm never going to use. Uh, I can't claim my rewards here. That's kind of BS. Okay. Okay, got it. Alright, so then let's see what this gets. Let me add that to my currency pouch. Okay, so 15 thieving. Uh, animal magnetism, not super important. I think I need the watchtower for a quest somewhere along the line. Uh, I can now pickpocket ham members. That's actually fairly big because they uh, give you a ton of easy clues. And later on down the road, I'm going to need it for uh, luck of the dwarves. Uh, or should I say Luck of the Charmy, since, you know, in the show she's half dwarf. So, yep, that's just me nerding out. Okay, uh, 21 crafting. Uh, Creature Fenkin Strain. I think I need that for the Meyer Q series. Uh, so yeah, and then Shades of Morton. I need that for the Meyer Q series. Uh, one of the requirements for Tears of Gothic, so I'm going to need that for Ritual of Majorat. Uh... That's good, because I do want to get Shiloh Village done. Uh, what else? Mm, I can cut Sapphires. That's not huge. Um, yeah, really nothing super big there, except for the quest unlocks. Uh, and then that's... Uh, I've unlocked up to floor 5, so I'm going to keep going. I'll uh, get back to you when I'm done, and I have to reset my prestige. Alright, <clears throat> All right, I think I'm uh, stopping with Dungeoneering for now, uh, because I got all the way up to level 6, or Complexity 6, not level 6, and uh, basically it's way too slow at this low level. With the weapons I have, the accuracy is terrible, and yeah, it's just way too slow. So, I'm going to revisit Dungeoneering a little bit later on. Uh, Definitely, because as I said, one of the goals is I want to get 99 Dungeoneering. 
there's pretty much two goals to this account. One is to become the Wizard King. Uh, so I need to get 99 magic, but also Asta clears dungeons all the time. So I'm going to need to get 99 dungeoneering too. So there we go. All right. Finished my challenges for the day. Let's see what I get. Uh, so yeah, I got a uh, monthly D and D reset. That's going to be fairly useful. Uh, and then I got 53 cooking. That's pretty cool. Uh, Hero's quest. I need that for some quest down the road. 41. Nothing super important. I can use a rune hatchet. Uh, 41 farming. Nothing super important. Uh, Alright. So just finished my daily challenges for today. I know that's all I've done for the past couple of days. But I've been super, super busy. Uh, with basically just a bunch of family stuff, seeing how yesterday was Thanksgiving, and then today was Thanksgiving too. So let's claim these rewards. <clears throat> uh, three archaeology levels, three herb lore levels. I've reached level 16 now, so that's cool. Token box for dungeoneering, that's going to give me like nothing because my DG level is so low. Add that to currency pouch. And then I'm going to put this on magic. So 727 in magic. So I'm now level 13 magic. Didn't get any combat levels off that, but let's see. Nothing super important with that level. Anakra's Lament. I need that for something. Um, let's see what else. Shades of Morton, uh, that's actually really important because I need that uh, for the Meyer Cube Quest series. And that's about it. So, <clears throat> I just used my Death Touch Dart on uh, Cal Fight King, open for a Drygore. Instead, I ended up getting 200 Onyx Bolts E. Um, so, that's going to give me quite a bit of cash once I can unlock high alchemy um, I also got 20 blue charms pog uh, I don't think I really need the chitin right now until I get a uh, dry gore so and even then I won't need it because I can augment them and then I won't need to repair them but yeah all right so here we go I got the agility construction and herb lore challenges done Let's see what I get. Uh, shoot, I'm way zoomed down here. Uh, let's see what I got. Two herb lore levels, two agility levels, a construction level. Uh, and let me claim this chest. It's just a bunch of oddments. So this week's rewards aren't anything special. I feel like I might have over-exaggerated the importance of this on the first week because there was the death touch darts and the huge cash bag and it was like holy shit this is so powered but this really isn't like oddments eh, not super overpowered i wonder if it varies from player to player from a uh, player to player but regardless though having three challenges a day is good because it promotes you to do stuff uh, Haunted Mine, Tabo Wani Trio, I think I need that for, uh, one small favor. <sighs> Sorry about the burp. Let's see what else I get. Yeah, one small favor. That's good. Because I need that for quite a few different quests. Uh, Teak Larder. Two teak planks and two bolts of cloth. Probably not going to do that as a training method. But yeah. Going to keep going. Alright. So just finished the daily challenges for today. And claim that. It looks like I got three fletching levels and that was it. Didn't get any other levels. 
And all I get is oddments and a challenge skip token. So, this week's rewards necessarily aren't as good as the previous two weeks, but still. Not too shabby, and then I'll get a Slayer VIP ticket tomorrow. So, and uh, let's see what I got here. So, 13 Fletching. Mm, nothing super important there. Uh, 42 Elemental Workshop. I don't really need Elemental Workshop 4 for any quests that I know of. Uh, so it shouldn't be too big an issue, but yeah. Alright, finished my daily challenges for today. One of them was Slayer, so I knocked out Combat and Slayer at the same time. Let's claim these rewards. So I got up to 7 Hunter, 2 Slayer levels to 27. Uh, and then let me claim some rewards here. Cool Slayer VIP tickets, always good. Uh, add that currency pouch, and we're going to throw this on magic. And we got up to 17 magic. So that's pretty cool. Let's see here. Did that give me any combat levels? Nope. But let's see what it did get me. So this I got from making the anti-poison. Uh, air bolt. I'm not reading the skirt. I don't have no idea what that even is. Okay. Nothing super crazy here. Nothing super crazy here either. Alright, well, let's keep going. Alright, so I'm not sure if it was the 49 attack, 39 constitution, or the 36 prayer. But something got me uh, 50 combat, which means I can now do Reapers. Uh, let's look at these. Spear of Summer. Uh, missing my mummy is important. And we're at 49 attack. I might grind out 50 before I actually do the uh, Reaper so I can have Rune Weaponry. 39. Cool. So let's go see what we get here from the Reaper. <clears throat> yeah, I did Slayer for a bit, and then I decided Hill Giants were probably better, because I could use the Big Bones and bury them to try to get some Prayer experience, so I'm pretty close to 37, which is what you need for Protect from Mage. Um, I need to get 43, ultimately, but once I get Rune, that should be super easy. Uh, Death's Hourglass is the one we want to use. Okay, and let us see what we get as our first task. Welcome Asta to Goat. Okay, come on, what do I get? Come on. Okay, I got the gem. No, I don't want to team up with other adventurers. Non-combat skilling creatures? I don't want to get skilling... Is this a thing for Croesus that they introduced? No, I don't want to do Croesus. Um... What do you mean? I thought the first level was combat level 50. What? I'm combat level 50. I'm very confused. I thought combat level 50 you were able to get stuff. Let me check here. Masters... I'm going to have to look into this. Give me a second. Alright, so I'm looking at the wiki page. And, yeah. Turns out I was wrong. Um, 
I could have sworn in the past there was 50 combat and you could start doing the giant mole as the task. But no, you need 60 combat for that. So I'm a little bit piffed about that. I wanted to unlock that and I'm not really going to be able to this episode. Um, but in the meantime, I guess we'll call it quits for now. I mean, I got 49 attack. I guess next episode will be focused on getting that 60 combat. There are some quests I can do for combat experience, like the uh, Grand Tree quest or something like that, which gives me good melee experience. Um, so that should help boost me along the way. Once I get 50 attack, I'm probably going to try to switch over to uh, doing some questing. Uh, just because there are some, uh, I think it's like the Rune Halberd and the Dragon Halberd. They're really good for training. Because you can do a lot of AoE very easily. Um, and I'll just get my melee stats really high. And we'll go from there. Alright, until next time, let's rest the rooster sign off. Bye. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe.